Hey guys, Zoltan here and today finally we will test uh, GeForce 256 SDR. This is a really beautiful also card. If you look on eBay for it, there are some really damn expensive versions um, there. So yeah, definitely check it out. They are around 200 or 300 euros or US dollars. <laughs> That's just too much. But this card was actually um, 4,000 Hungarian foreigns or uh, 14 US dollars or 12 euros or 11 uh, British pounds, just to mention a few. And it was sold as uh, it has issues, striping and stuff. So I'm not sure I will actually be able to make a nice video with this card. I haven't tested it yet and it uh, still has some dust on it, so I will just tear it apart, clean it and, and try it out. I hope it will work and I will be able to make the tests, even if it will have graphical glitches. If it's not that serious, it wouldn't be a problem, because we will see the performance and I definitely want to use it for, for extreme gaming hours and stuff, so... Um, yeah, it's a really nice looking uh, card, really unique with this L or, well, it's not it's pistol actually, really good. So yeah, it's a strange looking thing, but it uh, you can use it in um, this uh, mini ITX pieces or something like this. So yeah, and it can be extended with the DVI part, you have a connector here and you replace this part and yeah I'm not sure it's straight maybe you should just use it like this and it's bent a bit but yeah it looks like okay never mind but it will be fine I hope so just about the GeForce 256 uh, if this is the only viable part of the video um, it's the NV10 chipset and it's just after the TNT2 and before the GeForce 2 and it has now 4 pixel pipelines instead of 2 and in the video we'll keep this thing uh, just uh, until the GeForce 5 the GeForce 6 will be the first which will use more pixel pipelines and yeah it has one texturing unit per pipeline uh, while the TNT2 had two pixel pipelines only basically they clocked it uh, lower the default TNT clock is 150 megahertz while this is just a 120 the memory is running I think at the same performance or just a bit faster so it's a 166 megahertz SDR and it's also 32 megabytes it's definitely slower than the DDR version, but this was released a few months earlier, maybe in December, and the DDR was released in October, if I remember well. I just read uh, something with it in an attack in the morning, so yeah. And it uses nice, solid capacitor, so it's a good sign, actually. Uh, yeah, really nice card, you know, what I haven't shown yet. Eraser XA32, uh, made in Malaysia, mm, nice, nice little, it's a very small card, and just a heatsink here, and a very small fan, maybe I could use a larger one, and it's AGP 4X compatible, I think in the 440BX chips it will run at 2X, but it's not a big difference, and it's a Direct 7 compatible, and a big Deal is the TNL engine in this card. OpenGL version is uh, 1.3, which is the first actually supporting the transform and lighting. We will see the advantage in uh, the Quake games, I think, from GL, Quake, GL, uh, Quake 2, and Quake 3 also supports the lighting or just the transform part. I think the transform part because the uh, lighting is unique implemented in Quake and Unreal won't use it but UT2003 and 4 will definitely use it and 
I have to mention the TNT2 stuff, so if you just watch my Pentium 3 and Pentium 4 videos, you will see that the TNT2 will be just way, way faster with the Pentium 4 than it was with the actual Pentium 3 test, because uh, the TNL was done by the CPU and that CPU is really fast. And with the GeForce 256, I believe uh, it will be definitely faster on this Pentium 3 than the TNT2 was, while in the Pentium 4 it would be slower because of the forced use of the TNT and it will, would help hold back the, the system performance overall. So yeah, I'm really excited about this card. I really hope it will give some image at least and then uh, we will see something on the screen because it was really cheap and was really bidding for all these GeForce cards for up to $100 but I wasn't lucky because yeah. So, but I have this card now and let's see how it fares if it runs and we will go to the games very very soon I hope. Okay guys, so this card is not just striping, it's actually really really bad. I have installed the NVIDIA drivers and as you can see Windows is complaining about it. That this device is not present or not functioning properly or drivers are not installed. But actually they are, I am using the same driver as I did with the TNT2 and yeah it's the latest for the GeForce 256 as well, so this is a 71.84 driver, it should work, but it's just not, I only have 640 by 480 and 16-bit colors and I have no options to set the refresh rate or anything and I also oh god yeah whatever and in DIX uh, so DirectX diagnostic tool I have no option for the graphics uh, device display driver or anything it's just not present so yeah, it's definitely a bad card. We have the 16-bit color here. Sorry, no 16-bit. It's just 16 colors, and I have this kind of uh, flickering pixels and stuff. So I was hoping I will have 3D, but unfortunately there is no 3D at all with this card. So yeah, it's uh, now working. Not even 2D. Only thing I can do is just uh, maybe run quick 2 with really low frame rates. And yeah, it's only using the software render this time. Because OpenGL is not present, it will say server error and revert back to software. But yeah, it's a gameplay. And you can give some sound. Basically, it uh, renders on the CPU, so <laughs> pretty nice to see this uh, pink and grey kind of uh, look. But still, it's uh, pretty bad, and I was really, really sad about this card, so I just slept and started again to just uh, present you this uh, second part of the video. Yeah, it's uh, really, yeah, just sad, <laughs> that's all I can say. But yeah, it was really, really cheap, so, and it was sold as uh, non-functional striping, so, yeah, that's the non-functional part, which is uh, a problem for me. Well, yeah, like uh, $14 instead of 300 so, yeah, definitely. And it should run in a 256 color mode. I don't care. It will display as it runs, which is really damn strange. It still says it's Direct 3D and 800 by 600. And it looks uh, 
which is different than the actual software mode and also it runs uh, much slower I think for software it's using the 2D engine of the graphics card in this time it's barely just the CPU if I set something acceptable resolution when I can well it's around 4 frames per second so I want to try to put it to uh, this one is not functioning let's see 640 by 480 yeah keep it please and if it's not crashing 16 bit only yeah and use the time demo one command and we are seeing frame rates around 4 I just wanted to make this video because it's really cool to see as one frame being rendered you can see those lines it's like the tearing but in the other direction <laughs> But actually, I can move around the level. As you see, I'm headed to the Redeemer, and for some reason, I can actually move around and pick it up. Um, I don't know. Maybe shoot it or not. I fall. Oh god, and I'm dead. So, yeah, it was a bit laggy and. It's like I'm teleported already into this slime, so yeah. If I can shoot anyone with this 4 frame rate, then no, it's just not possible. Okay, so there is one idea I have in mind, and it's uh, baking. So I will try that. I will look for a bad oven and I will bake this card and see if it helps. I've seen a few videos on YouTube about Linus Tech Tips and also the guy with the, the Max how to do it properly. But I would just try the oven method so it couldn't be that bad. So it might just die and that's all. I hope it won't kill my motherboard. But yeah, uh, once I will try it definitely. Then I go for my GeForce 2 MX cards as well and maybe the next ones will be those cards or if anything comes then I will test the GeForce 2 Pro TI card whatever it is. I think it's a Pro but the driver says both so yeah. So that was just this uh, share review of uh, the GeForce 256 just one more quick look yeah it's in the pc it's plugged in and it's bad as hell so yeah it's sad so thank you so much for watching and if you have any ideas uh, please share yeah i tried the standard vga svga drivers uh, then I am able to select uh, different color options and resolutions but it forces to restart and it's only does 640 by 480 and 16 colors there is no way to to output more colors than this and also if I try to shut down it's just uh, reboots and the over strange part it obviously has some reason the Windows 98 logo looks good. Yeah, as you can see, all the text is most done. This part is kind of acceptable. Yeah, I just want to show you the Windows 98 logo if it ever shows up. It was there for a moment, sometimes it displays. But it just damn too fast. So. Well, never mind that. Thank you once more. And well, yeah, it says the uh, monitor um, controlling device is not configured properly. And please run the wizard to 
yeah to actually fix it and it sees and we need GeForce 256 and it's there it's just uh, not working yeah it's not present and the kind of things so yeah really uh, thanks once again bye bye